Hi guys, for me, I've been doing good so far. Well, I can go out unless there is anything important to do because Sabah is in MCO right now. So, how about the rest of you? Good? Hello guys, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing well here. Lately, I have been quite busy completing my assignments. I hope everyone is doing well during this quarantine time. Since the COVID-19 cases are rising nowadays, remember to stay at home and stay safe, okay? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Hi and good morning, everyone. Mm, me too. Hi everyone. Yeah, I'm also fine. Since MCO in March 2020, I'm an employment person because of what? Indrasi is slow down because of spreading COVID-19. So during that time, many workers have been employment have been thrown out from the industry because of they want to cut their uh, accessibilities and their income to the company so it is will be difficult for me to get a job because of during this time <coughs> all the company is struggling to still in, in the industry oh i'm sorry to hear that it's off since the covid 19 pandemic this unemployment problem has become a big problem for us, not only for Malaysia, but all over the world. I have read an article from Malay Mail in the internet recently. According to the article, the unemployment rate in Malaysia was 4.7% in last October 2020. Unemployment rate in our country increased sharply as the unemployment rate in the previous year, which is in 2019, was 3.32%. To prevent the virus from spreading, uh, our government has decided to implement the MCO since last March. Since then, many industrial and business activities have had to be suspended. Because of this, many businesses are affected by this pandemic. As a result, business owners have to bear huge losses. Not only that, business owners also have to lay off their employees to cut costs. For your information, until April 2020, the United States has recorded the worst unemployment rate that is 14.7% due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, that's true, Hanis. By the un unemployment that is currently happening in Malaysia, do you know what type of unemployment is this? If you don't, I will let you know now. So, the type of unemployment that is currently happening in Malaysia is cyclical unemployment. So, this type of unemployment happen is because due to the lack of demand in the businesses cycle or recession. As we all know, this type of unemployment happened because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which resulting a recessionary gap that caused businesses to fire large number of workers to cut their costs. Well, based on the article afraid the labor force in malaysia is moving in a slower pace due to an increase of both employed and unemployed people in short the implementation of conditional movement control order cmco is the reason to what causing this type of unemployment to happen because the businesses activities need to continue their operations with compliance to firm standard of operating procedures SOP. Yeah, that's right. 
Furthermore, this unemployment problem occurs in Malaysia due to the pandemic of COVID-19. The government has decided to make a lockdown, which is a movement control order (MCO). So, this means everyone should stay at home. When this situation happen, people gonna lose their job because the company um could not pay salary to their employer. Therefore, this will make the economy of Malaysia falls. Uh, and the cyclical unemployment will occur due to the economic recession. Well, I remember reading this one article. It said that because of COVID-19, the country faces a lot of challenges that produce the economy become slow. And therefore, the country try to work out what is the simplest solution to extend people in the in industry in the current situation. The country tried to seek out a solution to scale back the spreading of virus COVID-19. The government tried to extend the percent of employment in industry, which is government open sector economy and improve the economy inside the country. The government still looking for a way to increase the economy due to COVID-19. Government need to watch out the reason for one infection to the workers can make all the industry going to finish up. As we can see, in August 2020, unemployment rate maintained at 4.7%. Mm, for me, I think that the government should invent an expansionary monetary policy to increase money supply using open market operation. Open market operation refer to the central bank purchases of sale, of government security in order to expand or contract money in the banking system and influence its interest rate. This means that central bank is buying or selling security in the open market as a way to implement monetary policy. Open market operation refers to a central bank buying or selling short-term treasury and other security in the open market in order to influence the money supply Thus, influencing short-term interest rate by using this system of open market purchasing, the Federal Reserve can produce the target federal fund and rate. Federal fund rate it has to set by providing or as taking liquidity liquidity to commercial bank by buying or selling government bond with them. The objective of the operation. Sorry, open market operation is is to manipulate the short term interest rate and the supply of bank base money in economy. This open market operation are a method that federal use to manipulate interest rate. So, do you think that they have any other method to overcome other than open market operation? Yes, yes, that's right, Yana. As we know, the implementation of monetary policy can achieve full employment. The government can also implement expansionary monetary policy by lowering the required reserve ratio to increase money supply. In unemployment, the central bank that is Bank Negara Malaysia will lower the required reserve ratio of all commercial banks such as Maybank, Afin Bank, Hong Leong Bank and others. When the reserve ratio is decreased, the credit creation may increase as well as the money supply. This will increase the ability of commercial banks to provide loans. Aggregate spending may increase and this will lead to the increasing of employment and increasing in economic growth in our country too. Yes, that's right. Now, I will continue with the third method to overcome this unemployment problem. So, the third method is that the government will lower the best lending rate or bank rate or discount rate. But how? The central bank, which is BNM, will lower the rate 
Thus, loans will be less costly to borrow and firms will increase investments by employing more workers in result. This means that there will be cheaper home loans for consumers and also people will have more chances of getting a job. For example, during last August, Bank Negara Malaysia lowered the overnight policy rate or PR for the fourth in 2020 by another 25 basis points to 1.75% due to COVID-19 pandemic. I think Sophia has one more point to prove. What is it, Sophia? Okay, Rashida. So, for the last method is about lowering the interest rate, which is the bank negara will direct the commercial bank, such as Malayan Banking Berhad, which is Maybank, CIMB Bank, OCBC Bank, and many more, to make sure they lower their interest rate for a deposit because if the interest rate was too high, people not gonna spend their money in the bank. So, when the interest rate decrease, aggregate demand and production will increase and at the same time, we also can decrease the cycling unemployment. I know why government implement this method. It is because of government want to reduce the unemployment in the country in advance to help the citizen inside the country. The policies target are associated, associated with government spending and tax while the monetary policies are associated with interest rates, liquidity and control of cash supply. In terms of economic policy, the government has announced a series of economic stimulus packages to help individual and firms striken by the COVID-19 crisis. In terms of monetary policies, Bank Negara Master has cut the overnight policy rate or OPR by 25 foundation points to 20.5% and reduced the manufacturing the solid statutory reserve requirement ratio or SRR by 100 foundation point to 2%. This step will decrease loan costs, increase liquidity and stimulate economic activity aside from that. The restructuring and rescheduling of the 6 month monitoring will confirm that the capital and financial market reverts to stability. It will also help individual and business facing financial problems and liquidity constraints. Nevertheless, the government's fiscal and monetary policies complement each other and can help to revive the economy by increasing aggregate demand like public and personal consumption and investment. This may help to stimulate the economic process through the multiplier effect and reduce the height within the percentage. The overnight policy rate and an all-time low of 1.75% was maintained, aiming expectation of a divided market analysis. Analysis. <laughs> that is the decision that was made by the Monetary Policy Committee of Bank Negara Malaysia BNM, after holding a meeting on 10 September. According to them, Bank Negara Malaysia can further ease its monetary policy if necessary to speed up the economy recovery in the country. This is because the bank expect inflation inflation to continue to change throughout the year given the increasing volatile cases of COVID-19 day by day. Among the appropriate action by the government to ensure economy, activity continues during the CMCO that emphasized on 14 October 2020 in most states is to allow industrial and businesses activities to continue operation provide the order to strict standard operation procedure SOP. Guys, now I think I understand why the government needs to implement expansionary monetary policy in reducing unemployment. 
it is because expansionary monetary policy aims to increase money supply to control unemployment during the recession. I agree with the government's action to reduce the unemployment rate because high and continuous unemployment has a negative impact on subsequent long-term economic growth. This situation leads to a waste of resources and also leads people to poverty. Unemployment can have a negative impact on the individuals, economy, and also society. Therefore, the attainment of full employment is a major economic objective of governments in many countries. In my opinion, I agree with the step that the government have taken in order to overcome the unemployment problem in Malaysia, which is by implementing the monetary policy. Although this policy may lead to unsustainable spending that will cause a large budget deficit, which means high level of public debt, but Malaysia government has remained committed with the clear rules of monetary policy. Overall, monetary policy is one of the important policies used to combat the economic downturn, especially during this crucial situation we are in right now. The government is doing this to keep the economy running even in dangerous condition because the slowdown in the economic system many traders and businesses will close due to the spread of COVID-19. This is to help a few businesses in, in undergoing difficult situation where many businesses suffer losses due to not be able to do business and so on. This little help can help businesses survive in difficult situation for now and I'm very grateful that the government's action to provide assistance to traders and household has helped them a lot to continue the struggle and stay alive in this very difficult situation. The government also needs to find ways to open up employment opportunity little by little as well as control the domestic economy. About that, actually I agree with you guys. Yeah. I agree too. Mm, I'm so sorry guys. I think I need to leave now. I have something to do. Uh, so thank you for spending your time. Stay safe and stay home okay? Bye. Well, is that all for today? Bye and take care. Okay guys. Okay, bye, bye guys. Bye.